What's up guys, it's Bucky, and I just wanted to make a video real quick uh, going over an overview of Intel processors. Now I got a request on my website, thenewboston.com, where someone was building a computer and they had uh, seen the whole series of Intel processors and they didn't really know what one to choose, so I decided to make a guide to help you guys choose and learn the difference between Intel processors. So the oldest processor you're probably going to come across is called the Celeron processor. And this is a pretty old processor for Intel. And the gigahertz range from 0 0.226, or excuse me, 0 0.266 from 3.3 gigahertz. And that's only for a single core. The Celerons only have a single core. So you don't have to worry about that. But since they uh, have low gigahertz speed, and a single core, I would not recommend the Celerons for any build. The next processor you're going to come across is the Pentium series. Now, the Pentium series is a huge series. It's Intel's biggest series of processor. They made like 8,000 different kinds of Pentium processors. They range from the 4 series to the M series. Now, they max out at 3.8 gigahertz, which is decent for a processor and that's for a single core too and the dual cores of the Pentiums they max out at 3.73 gigahertz so um, both of these are a decent uh, speed and another thing about the Pentiums is they have pretty good L2 cache which is pretty much the built in memory so that's going to help speed up your processor uh, uh, performance too and the Pentiums are good for basic builds but uh, not really good if you're if you're building a high performance computer or anything like that. So after the Pentiums, the next step up is, or some people think it's a step up, is called the dual core processors. Now the dual core processors are different from the core two processors. So you want to keep an eye out for that. Um, these max out at I believe 2.5 gigahertz and their cache in the front side bus on the core, I mean the dual the dual cores isn't that impressive so I would not recommend getting a dual core Intel processor but the next series the core 2 processors I would highly recommend getting 